this book belongs to? Me. Hello, journal. Is it okay if I call you that? It's a bit formal, I know. But we've only just met. Let me introduce myself. I'm Isabel Barbara Cook. Most people call me Izzy, not Dad. He calls me Titch. He's such a numpty head. My little brother Ben calls me Isbo. I call him he who chews curtains. He likes red for breakfast and blue for dinner. And then there's Mom, my top tea drinking buddy. Ah, I go get my tea and this is Pinky. I think she's jealous of you, Journal. Today's my birthday. Dad made his best cake. Mum and Gran started the singing. Ben gurgled along. I blew out the candles. And made a wish. Since I was little, I've always dreamed of becoming a writer. This is where you come in, Journal. A writer writes. No one ever got anything just by wanting it. I guess that birthday wish was a waste then. Gran said writing is about exploring your thoughts. It helps you unlock your feelings. I'd like to write something that will make Gran smile. She always talks about little acorns growing into big trees. Is that to make me feel better about my height? Or about my writing? I want to write a story, but what kind? A romance? Science fiction? A comedy? A drama? Fairy tales? Wait, we're getting somewhere. A fantasy story. So, how do I start my fantasy story? Once upon a time. Ugh, no one said this would be easy. Again, from the top. Not so far away. In the land of... Astoria. A place of peace and magic. There lived a girl named... Robin. Everyone knew her by the bright colour. Of her 
red dress. She was ready to begin her adventure. In fact, she'd been preparing for it her whole life, for she was the only apprentice of the village guardian, Elder Ava. Everyone was very fond of Robin. Her heart was full of curiosity and compassion. The villagers agreed that no one was... as kind as her. of Astoria. There lived a young girl named Robin. She was kind and loved taking care of the world around her. around Robin. Hello, little firefly. Did you come for my birthday? Oh, Elder Ava's gonna be so happy. Let's head back to the village. The firefly shared Robin's excitement. I was also planning to make Elder Ava a fruit punch in secret. Maybe we can find some more berries on the way back, firefly. One. Good job, Firefly. Nice and fat. This will be perfect. Another. Do Fireflies drink punch? Come on, Firefly. The village is just a bit further down. Whoa! I love doing that. The bridge was an old, creaky affair. Careful, Robin. Careful. Robin imagined shark fins circling below. Phew! We made it, Firefly. And... Robin knew many secret paths back to the village, like this one. She loved feeling the roots around her, as if the tree was giving her a gentle hug. Nearly there, Firefly. Just one more little slide, here. We go! Woo the old cargo net barely used. Her own secret entrance to the village above. Robin couldn't wait to give Elder Ava a hug. She'd be so proud. A firefly came. Look, firefly. Home. The warm lights and enticing smells of Elder Ava's heart welcomed her. Elder Ava. Happy birthday, Robin. I've made a new friend. One of our sacred fireflies. 
This is a very special thing indeed. Does this mean...? Yes, it is time. Would you fetch me that box, please? Ava was sure that Robin would rise to the occasion. Go ahead, open it. This will store all the magic words you find. Some will stay with you, others are fleeting. They will help you overcome any obstacle. Now, your training is complete. Congratulations, new guardian of the fireflies. Guardian? But that's you. Guardian in retirement now. You should head to the Shrine Tree for the other Firefly's blessing. I'll join you shortly, dear. Oh, before I forget, a little something of mine to mark the occasion. Elder Ava reached inside her pocket and handed Robin a gift. Ava's favorite pendant, set with a giant... Emerald! Now, off you go. my magic book and all at once robin was surrounded by the hustle and bustle of village life oh how'd you do that wait a minute she's got the power she must have the book why do we have to be robin on loved throwing stones point? over robin the rooftops but not today just looking at it. That was Today, amazing. the firefly Best shrine was waiting. All morning. Look, Robin has the book. <gasps> Girl, missed. Go on. She looked over her bustling treetop village. I heard you had a bit of leaf mold. This was all she knew. Yeah, Elder Bassus gave me a poultice. Did it work? She cleared it right And up. it was home. Looks better than ever. Smell that. That's the scent of paradise. I can always use more paradise. But inside, she was still curious. Hey, Robin! Happy birthday! No, you can't have a magic book. Good to see you, Robin. But Robin has one. Well, that's different. She's special. But you say I'm special. Careful, careful. No need to rush. About the world that lay beyond. seen that boot for a while, Robin. You're off to see the fireflies. Let me get the gate. Ah! Blast! Robin couldn't wait. 
wait to see the fireflies. Soon they bless her as new village guardian. What's being guardian going to be like, Firefly? adventure. Perfect. Robin crawled through the dank, dark tunnel. It didn't feel like being hugged at all. bell to announce her arrival. the tree was in sight, home to the fireflies, whose ancient energy kept the village safe from harm. Go on. Show them what you can do. Use your word magic to get to the fireflies. That's it. They're accepting their new guardian. At last, I can get a lion. Glowing light surrounded her, a timeless energy that birthed stars and forged suns. Now she was part of it, forever. And so Robin became the new Firefly Guardian, but her biggest adventure was yet to come. journal. This time of the year, it gets dark so early. Like the day is just an accident. And the night is how the world really works. Stars and fireflies glowing in the dark. I've never actually seen a firefly. Do you think that matters, journal? Glowing things are cool, especially in nature. On holiday in Wales, Gran and I would go to the beach and look up at the stars. But one night, we looked down instead. The stars were shining in the water. It was like the sky got flipped upside down. We took off our shoes and socks and waded into the water. As we walked over the pebbles,
They glowed beneath our toes. Grand said it was called bioluminescence. Tiny plankton in the water being moved back and forth by the tide. I knew it was just little creatures, but it felt like magic. I got up very early the next morning. I sneaked into the kitchen, got a jam jar, and went down to the shore to where I'd seen the plankton. That evening, I was so excited. I carefully put the jar on my bedside table. And waited for the night. But it didn't glow. I was devastated. I showed Gran the jar. She laughed. Gran always says, You can't put a cork in nature. They need sunlight and nutrients from the tide. Gran knows about those things. She used to be a marine biologist. Gran bought some special algae that would grow at home. We spent the whole day planning it. Sand. A house. Pebbles. Corals. Lights. Company. Glass stones. Water. We took pictures for Gran's photo album for our future selves to remember. How the tank took ages to fill. How we took turns stirring the algae in. How happy we were when we had it all set. Just needs time to develop, said Gran. After six days, the algae was ready. I put the tank on my desk and ran my finger through the water, my own bit of magic. Izzy. That was Mum. She just got a call. She has to leave now. It sounded really bad. I have a weird feeling in my stomach. Something I don't know how to deal with. We just heard that Gran has had a stroke. I don't want to believe it. I can't lose her. Robin woke from a hazy, distant dream. Something unnatural had stirred her from slumber. What's that noise? Elder Ava? Robin, a giant creature is attacking our village. Attacking? I thought the fireflies protected us. There must be something wrong. Get to the tree at once. Hurry! 
Ocean could have caused this. And suddenly, Robin was surrounded by smoke and cinders. As she hurried past the crackling rooftops, her concern grew. Hey, Robin, you gotta hide. You can hide with us. Broken. The lift. No, there's no space. She looked at her burning treetop village. This was all she knew. This was home. She needed to get to the fireflies. from beyond the village gate. Robin rushed out to meet it. Soon she would prove herself as the new village guardian. I can do this. Right, Firefly? Right? But she could not deny the creeping terror. The earth yawned below her. Phew. Made it. That was scary. This tree did not comfort her. It was as scared as she was. With nobody around to extinguish them, fires burned out of control. Some words will stay with you, others are fleeting. A strange blaze crackled ahead. Is that fire? I've never seen a flame like that. bell lay silent on the ground. realization dawned on Robin. The fireflies were gone. A new determination rose in her. She would find the fireflies. Elder Ava! Something took the fireflies. I know. Our people will fall sick without them. Don't give up hope. I'll get the fireflies back.
I'll make everyone better. I promise. Go, and may the love of this village guide you.